Hi, this is Matt Caton with The Brain Technologies. And today we're taking a closer look at how you can add images to thoughts in Personal Brain, as well as attaching other web content. Well, spring has finally arrived, and my family and I are taking a closer look at putting a garden in our backyard. I've created this garden section in my Personal Brain, and I'm particularly interested in adding some native plants to my shade garden. I've created individual thoughts for some of the plants that I'm particularly interested in. You can see when I click on some of the thoughts, I'm keeping track of the scientific classification and some basic notes down below. But what would really be helpful is to have an actual image of the plant or flower in my personal brain. I'm going to search the web by clicking on the magnifying glass right here in personal brain. This allows me to search the web for whatever the thought name is. I can edit this field. I can also change my search engine or edit and customize my own favorite search engines. I'll stay with Google. And as you can see, I'm brought to a Google search for squirrel corn. I like to go to the images for a wide array of pictures of this particular subject matter. When I find the image I like, I simply right click, select copy, Go back to the brain, right click on the thought, and paste the thought icon. Now you can easily see when I'm at the plant nursery, I'll know the exact plant that I'm looking for. I'll select another example that my wife is interested in, wild phlox. I have no idea what wild phlox looks like. Once again, let's go out and search Google, and clicking on images, will reveal the plant that I'm interested in. Once again, I right click on the image, select copy, back to the brain, right click on the thought, and select paste thought icon. Additionally, from personal brain, I can also click on thought in the menu up above and select paste thought icon from there. This is an intriguing plant that I'd like to know more about. Therefore, maybe I'd like to find a web page that has more information for me. I'll go back to the Google returns, click on web, and when I find a page I'm interested in, I'd like to link this to the thought and personal brain. I'll rearrange my windows so I can see both the address bar of the website and the thought itself at the same time. I'm simply going to click on the icon in the address bar and drag this directly to the wild flocks thought. As you can see in personal brain, on the properties and attachments page, I now have a link directly to that web page that can tell me more about this particular species. Let's take a look at one more example. I'll click on Jack in the Pulpit, a very interesting plant. Again, I'll do a web search. and I've found the Wikipedia page for this particular plant. Here's an image I'd like to use. I'll right click, copy the image, back to the brain. I right click and paste the thought icon. But as you can see, I don't have many notes on this particular species. I don't particularly need to link to the entire page. I would like just a brief outline. I'm simply going to select this first paragraph copy it, come back to the brain, and paste this into my notes. Copying and pasting images, copying content and pasting it into the notes section, or linking to the entire web page. Three options that will give you a more powerful and more interesting personal brain.